Judge sends ex-Oregon college student to prison for more than three years for counterfeit Apple iPhone scam. Uh, this one caught my attention. Well, obviously, with a headline like that. This guy was enrolled at Oregon State University, and he was involved in what was billed a lucrative phone repair business. But in reality, all that was happening was he was importing counterfeit devices, counterfeit iPhones from China, and then returning them to Apple, mm. either by mail or by store, returning them as non-counterfeit, as authentic devices, and getting them replaced with authentic ones, then sending the authentic ones back to China to be sold on the market there mm. for profit. Now, Apple says this cost them $1.2 million. That's a lot of devices. Uh, it's around 2,000 counterfeit Apple iPhones. And he had a whole ring going on of friends in different states, and they would get some money for submitting these warranty claims and giving him a legit iPhone back. So he pleaded guilty in April to, tra to trafficking counterfeit goods. He apparently dropped out of the engineering program at Oregon State, everything, everything was going going well. Well, he's he's cashing out. Yeah. He earned twenty to thirty dollars for each new iPhone. That doesn't sound like. Uh, it. Doesn't sound like it. He's not. He didn't cash out hard enough. Yeah. He's doing three years in prison now. Twenty or thirty bucks for each iPhone. He should have just started repairing i iPhones himself. <laughs> Could have been a better business or importing. I don't know. Imports import batteries. For, I don't. I, mean, I don't. Maybe not. This is more fun, obviously. He says he only made about 40000 bucks in total. I don't think that's mm. worth three years in prison, but I'm not sure. His role was to receive, send in, and return the phones. Uh, she asked his lawyer that Jang be placed on probation with a requirement to complete at least 1,000 hours of community service. The judge didn't like that, Will. He wanted to uh, set the standard. He hard, hard time. Well, he just, I guess he wanted to send a message to anyone thinking of doing something like yeah. this. And obviously, it's a big amount of money if it's maybe, I don't know if Apple embellished that. 1.2 million, 2,000 phones. Is that is 2,000 phones, 1.2 million bucks? Or maybe there's other damages, uh, like, like all the costs associated with these warranty claims and the employees responsible. I don't know how right. they came up with that figure. Uh, but he did defraud Apple for that money. Imagine Apple. They're sitting around all these counterfeit devices. They got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. They got to contact the FBI. We got all these counterfeit devices come from all these different places. How do we find a guy responsible? Mm -hmm. The fraud lasted from January 2016 through to February 2018. He imported the counterfeit iPhones from Hong Kong, coordinating their delivery to multiple addresses in Oregon, Washington, and Colorado. He and others sent each phone to Apple Inc., complaining it wouldn't power on in exchange for a new phone under Apple's warranty process so apple must not have been checking serial numbers or right what part of their process could be exploited there or maybe the counterfeits would have had a counterfeit serial number to go with it anyhow nonetheless there's a picture there of what the phones look like stacked up counterfeit apple's records reflected that jang used more than 250 names and 1,330 email addresses for the submission of 3,069 fraudulent warranty claims. Apple then sent back to Jang and his accomplices 1,493 new or refurbished iPhones, each with an average of $600 resale value. So that's a big number, I guess, overall. I find it hard to believe he only got 20000 out of the deal if he was doing all the work, but who knows? Or 40000 Tw between 20 and 40? Oh, 40,000. Yeah, still, though. Is yeah, that enough? Uh, Who cashed hard on this? I want to know. Somebody did. Yeah. But he's in jail now, so don't do this, kids. This is this is obviously a bad idea. And uh, there's a lot of ways. Go start a business. I don't know. He already paid Apple 200,000. Oh, let me see this. Jang has paid 200,000 to Apple in restitution money his parents obtained through the sale of their home in China. Oh, so he... He didn't make enough, so he actually owed more money. So his parents had to selling. sell their house. Yeah, they sent their him. Family dude, home. They, dude, they sent him over here to go to Oregon State University to get an engineering degree. Yeah. Instead, they end up selling their house. Yeah. 
to pay off to pay Apple the restitution money. Yeah. And he had to forfeit his 2015 Mercedes Benz. Rough, rough time. Uh, once he realized the scheme was unlawful, he said, I did not want to face the truth because at the time I really needed the job. I felt ashamed and embarrassed. He sunk deeper and deeper, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem, Will. You start making a few bucks. Mm -hmm. It's so, you feel like it's easy. You keep going down the path. You put your head up at some point. Wow, how, how did we get this far along? But mm -hmm. you guys stay away from it, I guess, in the beginning. If he had a link to iPhone stuff from China, there's so many. I'm, I got 20 businesses right now. Legit ones. Yeah. So. God, that's sad. You take a different path to parents. That's rough on yeah. the parents, mostly.